Hey guys, MC Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series number 68, the Hasbro Pulse exclusive two pack of the Cobra Valkyries, which is the Cobra Officer and the Cobra Valkyrie Officer and Trooper. So I think this is the Officer, this is the Trooper, and I say that because. The package just simply shows this Valkyrie with the helmet that has the V, which I would assume would be the officer, uh, but also has the regular helmet for a trooper, I guess. And then the trooper has the uh, interchangeable head sculpt with like the gas mask and the red visor, which looked pretty awesome there. Uh, so this is exclusive to Hasbro Pulse. I think recently I had seen some people online talking about it not being available. So I don't know if it sold out or what the deal is. I've had it for a week now. I've just kind of been lagging on getting to some reviews. So finally I have a few minutes. We're going to go through here. I'm going to try and get through this video quickly. And I know I actually say that all the time and it never ends up being quick. I'm going to try my damnedest to get this to be a fairly short video. There's a ton of accessories this time around, so I'm going to talk about those a little bit. I'm going to show the articulation for only one figure because they're the same damn figure. Basically, there's some different paint jobs, and I'll show the differences there. Uh, but that's what we're going to do. The Cobra Valkyries 2-pack Hasbro Pulse exclusive. If you missed out, I'm sorry. Hopefully, Hasbro Pulse will do a restock. They tend to be pretty good at restocking some of the exclusives, unless it's like a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, right? Different story. If it's just a standard, like, Pulse exclusive, um, it, it'll probably restock. But anyway, let's get into it. I'm going to take a closer look at the figure so you can see all the really cool details. We'll take a look at all of the damn accessories. There's so many, um, and we'll get into it. Here we go. Okay, so here is the Cobra Trooper. So essentially, the figure comes like this here out of the package. I love the mask. I love it, love it, love it. It reminds me of the original Cobra Trooper mask, obviously kind of the same design. Um, absolutely love it. So here we just essentially get the same exact thing. Um, but in a female uh, form. So I love that they did that. Love it, love it, love it. They, the, the Cobra Trooper is one of my all-time favorite figures, um, especially in this line. So the fact that we just get like the same um, mask and everything just in female form, um, I, I think that is awesome. So uh, we have it there. But that's not it. We have an interchangeable head sculpt. So let's pop that head off. Let's pop this one on there. And then, boom, there we have this nice gas mask look, which is really cool. I love the metallic red for the visor there looks really really good and then again with the helmet that it comes with you could pop that on and then bam you have a full look there and then if you really wanted to you could you know i, I guess it doesn't really matter it's, it's going to be up to everybody else so you could put that valkyrie you know with the v helmet on there which i assume is for the office right you can again switch it up customize it army build it so if you have multiples of this two pack you can do essentially whatever you want to do in it um so it's going to be uh pretty crazy but in terms of this version here everything is uh, in black so like the the gauntlet pieces the forearm guards back of the hand uh, the holsters knee pads uh, well, even on the other one, the knee pads are black, but um, all the accents and things like that are black. The straps and everything like they're all black in color. The difference between the two is that in, in a lot of those straps and things like that, instead of black in color, we get a uh, tan beige in color like there on the boots, um, the holster on the right arm, the belt, right arm, the right leg, um, the, the, this... Um, I don't know what that's called. That I think that's to determine like rank or something. Uh, but that's there, like, and then the sheath, the bandolier, all of that beige instead of um, black, and then of course naturally skin tone, skin tone to uh, uh, differentiate between the two. Let me pop that head back on there. And so we get, you know, all kinds of different options there as well, which is really nice. So that's the difference between the two. So when we look at accessories, so the black accessories obviously are going to go with the trooper. So we have the backpack there, which just ports into the back. Um, that is a tight, tight, tight fit. Um, and then there's a couple of pegs here on the backpack, which I haven't gotten around to play with quite yet. But I'm assuming, you know, it's going to be certain things to where the guns are going to be able to kind of peg onto there. So we have like there i feel like that's the right size but i'd have to go so like into the trigger you can pu you can port the gun in there maybe it's supposed to go this way oh yeah that's a that's a much better fit there so i love when we have the gi joe classified series figures and these are the type of things that you're able to do um to get you know the storage of most of the accessories if not all so it just kind of depends so like here i can get storage of those two weapons that she comes with um, and then she has the two handguns here which will then you know uh holster 
uh, on her waist with the belt so that is another really cool option so holster there to the left and then oh there's only one on her oh then duh, right on the the side of the leg so uh, then holster the other weapon there so it looks like we're gonna be able to to be able to carry all weapons there we have the knife sheath right here up at the top on her left shoulder uh, which will port in that way so then she could pull it down so again weapon storage everywhere which is really 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 cool um, but back to these guns um, as you can see here we get a couple of different pieces to go along with it so we have this here which looks more like a shotgun type and, you know, maybe it's a rifle. I'm not really sure. They all have peg holes to go in with, like, muzzle flares, which I will get into uh, with the next one. Uh, we do have the um, the magazine there. So it ports in, and you can remove it like so. Um, and then back to this other one. So this one with the scope and everything in there looks really cool. Again, you can have a peg there. Uh, but we also have a ammo magazine here, which can then port right on in there. And that looks pretty good. So those are all the accessories for the uh, Valkyrie Trooper. Uh, now we're going to go into the Valkyrie Officer, which seems to come with a lot more. Same mask here, different skin tone. But again, a lot of the straps and things like that are painted, or not painted, but um, beige in color as opposed to black in color. So we get the same backpack. Again, it's beige. Um, in color to kind of go with it and I love that they just didn't do the whole thing in beige we get a little bit of black uh, going on in there again same thing you would port the backpack in there uh, we do get the same we do get the same guns just in the different color so same thing here just in this beige they look a little cheap when there's not the color in them uh, to be honest with you but I, I think it fits the color scheme of what they're kind of going for so same thing here with this one we get the ammo clip ammo clip ammo magazine my bad excuse me will not say clip because i know that is not accurate so we have that there we get the two handguns same in that beige color um and then we get the knife uh there so you could see the handle is actually uh the beige color nice silver for the blade and that would just you know go right into the sheath there um so that's what she comes with she comes with the two different helmets so you have the v helmet which i think is going to designate the officer again you could switch those around it just happens to come in the bag with this and on the back of the package shows her with her uh, so you could do whatever and then for your customizing options if you're army building you get multiples you have the regular helmet there as well which is cool um in addition to all of that we get various different like muzzle flares here so we have these pieces here which are pretty cool. They're done in orange translucent color with a little bit of like a yellowish orange paint on there to kind of show the fire effect. We have this muzzle flash here, which is pretty cool. And then it's like double peg. So you could do something like this, which is pretty crazy. And I know the orange and the red background. So that is really cool. We also get this one here, which this one looks to kind of be able to do the same, although the whole looks a little bit smaller no it works there too so you could port that in like so which is pretty crazy uh we get this muzzle flare here too and again these two pieces could also port into that as well so you get that bam that is pretty damn awesome um and then we get this crazy one here so this looks pretty insane kind of how this one is done and i I don't know how exactly that's supposed to work, to be honest with you. So there's that translucent um, uh, orange color with some white paint to kind of show some smoke effects. Uh, we have this one here, which I think we've seen before. So different, you know, shooting positions depending on what motion and movement you have going on there. We have this one here as well with the white smoke. Um, and then this one here. Uh, so uh, it's pretty crazy. So if we look at certain things of how we're going to do it, you know, you could do something like that there, which is pretty cool. Or you could do something like this here, which is pretty cool. And then like the handguns, you could just have them straight out. So you could do uh, this here with the, the handgun or you could do with the smoke effect here on the handgun these don't port in as nicely so you could do that um and then you could also do this <laughs> there so it's kind of like spraying out uh kind of like crazy um and then you could do 
this, I don't, I don't really understand how this one is supposed to work, to be honest with you. So this one, this one is confusing me a little bit. So I'm not sure if, you know, if it's supposed to be rapid fire and then this gun is probably not a rapid fire gun. So I'm probably getting that all wrong. Uh, but, you know, things uh, that you are capable of doing here, um, which is pretty cool. Or, you know, again, the gun, kind of the gun spray, depending on the angle in which you're shooting. So if you're shooting like this or you're shooting like that, right, just all kinds of crazy things. So lots of accessories, pretty cool. So now let's go ahead and check out the articulation of the figures. Okay, so something to watch out for. Look at how that th that peg is getting chewed up, porting that thing into the back. Like it's it's too snug a fit in my opinion, and it's just gonna chew and eat away at the plastic. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the articulation. Before I did this, I went ahead because I was curious at how many different head swap options and things there are. Because you could swap the heads between the two, do the helmet, swap those around. There's like 16 different options that you can have, either with no helmet, with helmet, with the other helmet, with the gas mask, without the gas mask, this head on this figure, this head on this figure. There's like 16 different combinations, which is awesome. So if you're army building, you're troop building, you can have all those different options available to you, which is really cool. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the articulation. The head is on a dumbbell joint um, up there. The neck does have a separate piece that can move a little bit back and forth, a little bit pivot side to side, which is cool, and then full swivel rotation there. Some pivot, but it's mo mostly going to be in the neck. The arm you can get to go straight on out like so, which is awesome. Full rotation in there. There is a butterfly joint. Let's go ahead and get this backpack off. There is a butterfly joint, which could get that arm going really, really far back, which is awesome. Coming forward for the crossbody, though, is really not going to happen, unfortunately. So just a heads up on that. Upper bicep swivel in there. Double jointed pinless uh, elbow. Gives you that much bend there, which is nice and awesome. Uh, wrist swivel, and they do hinge, vertical hinge on all of the hands. And that is the only thing that this this set is uh, lacking in, is uh, separate hands. So fists would be cool. Otherwise, they all just have trigger finger hands uh, on her. So we have diaphragm cut. So up at the top, uh, kind of along with the ball joint at the waist. So it's kind of hard to get just uh, the diaphragm to kind of tilt on its own. So you kind of work with the ball joint waist so she could tilt to her left that much. She could tilt to her right that much. It's not a huge amount, but you can do a little bit. Going back is a little unfortunate, not a whole lot. And then coming forward is almost hardly anything at all. You get a swivel at that diaphragm. You also get a swivel at the ball jointed waist there. So not a crazy amount of motion, unfortunately, but there's some. Uh, we do have the drop down hips on there. So you can see that. Legs go out that far apart. She can kick forward uh, very high, which is great. Leg goes back ever so slightly. Upper thigh cut in there. Double jointed pinless knee gives you that bend there, which is nice. Uh, boot swivel uh, there, as you can see. Foot hinges down a little bit. Hinge up. Ankle pivot. Peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So solid articulation, but is lacking when it comes to like the diaphragm cut. So, you know, crouching poses, certain things like that might be a little difficult. Okay, so here we have the Valkyries along with the Cobra Officer and the Cobra Trooper. It's a little odd that the between the uh, the trooper and the officer, there was uh, quite a bit that was actually different. Different boots, different torso, um, different glove forearm pieces there. But between the Valkyries, they're essentially the same with just a slightly different color scheme. What would have been cool, in my opinion, is if one of these, whichever one you would choose to designate as the officer, and I guess that would be the thing... I guess it doesn't matter because you just swap the heads around, but, um, well, the tort, like if, so if you wanted the beige to be the trooper and the, the other one to be the officer, I guess that's where it would get tricky. But if the Cobra logo was painted silver, like on, uh, the male Cobra officer figure, I think that would have been cool. Regardless, the red is a nice touch when in terms of, you know, how you can build out the, the trooper, it makes more sense that they're both red. Cause then you have all of the different options to swap those pieces around, which is pretty cool. Uh, but that is my review. It's a very awesome two pack. The muzzle flares and all those things are a really nice touch. As you can see all of the different pieces that it comes with here, which is pretty Pretty insane. So you got one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight different muzzle flare pieces, which is nice. So when you're doing photography, things like that, you have all those different options. I love when each figure can ho actually hold on to all of the accessories um, on their person, which is a nice, oh, there was look at another, another piece. So what is that, nine pieces, whatever it is. So that's always a nice touch. So all the guns can be stored on the figure um, or, or along with the backpack and then the backpack um, on the figure. You do ooh, helmet or without helmet, we get three different helmets. We get, um, you know, the extra head to float between the two, however you want to do it. So if you have multiple two packs, that's when all the customizing um, and, you know, how you want your army build to look and all of that which is awesome. But you guys let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of this Cobra Valkyries 2-pack? Is it something that you picked up or you regret passing on? I think it's awesome. Um, again, just a little lacking in terms of the upper torso movement for uh, the figures. But other than that, solid set for sure. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you're interested in supporting the channel, hit that join button to become a channel member and be a part of the MCU Collective. And as always, thank you for watching.